Hi, this is Edward Mendoza. Today I'd like to talk about when you should be picking your specialization. Coming up. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. Welcome back. And the experience that I've had, and I've seen quite a few other students having um, a, a, similar, a similar route, right, is to wait till later. Um, the only reason why you're gonna feel a little bit of, um, of a rush is because you're gonna be getting emails constantly from, um, from Georgia Tech's um, email server asking you to make a decision on specialization, asking you like other questions, like what are you planning on waiting? I mean, these questions for people that just wanna get in there and out of there as soon as possible, it's like, yeah, I, I guess it would be kind of relevant. But no matter what pick, since you're gonna be taking five of those courses and you're gonna to have to get a B or better in each one of those, um, each one of those courses, it's actually more, recommended and I've, I've seen a, a, um, quite a few other individuals regret it if they set it up too quickly is since you don't really know what the um, what the outcome of, of uh, your overall degree is going to be right like you might totally change your mind I initially started doing computation uh, um, uh, I'm sorry computer perception and robotics because I was thinking I was going to get into more of the, the robotic side because I was so into games and it sounded interesting, right? Since I was so focused on, on machine learning anyway, the whole robotics situation, you know, con uh, to me, I thought it was, it was like a good connection with the, uh, with, um, the gaming experience I already had. And after a couple of courses, after uh, computer vision and then AI for robotics, I realized it's not that it was a bad uh, degree plan. It's just it wasn't the specialization that, that was really calling me after after those two main classes. So I didn't really feel like, you know, uh, um, pursuing that particular specialization. And then I just took it easy. Then I, I just started taking okay, what are the classes that really interest me? I was just looking at their, uh, the different classes that were offered, and um, obviously, yeah, machine learning for trade, knowledge based AI uh, came into mind. Um, edutech there was other classes that it's like I was more interested in anyway and uh, at the moment those are pairing more towards the uh, the um, the interactive intelligence specialization so my recommendation is figure out what classes you want to take first and see does that already fit into a specialization plan because since you have to take five courses anyway I would say leave it for later um, you don't have to you don't have to decide on specialization anyway until one semester before you graduate, right? So if you're supposedly going to graduate in the fall, the semester before, you know, in, in the summer is when you have to, that's when you really do have to uh, um, decide on your specialization. And if you're already gone through five or six courses, you're, you're already going to have a, a rough idea. The nice part about most of these courses, at least what's available now, this might change in the future, is that the majority of, uh, of the courses that are in, uh, on um, each specialization have you know quite a bit of overlap so there are going to be a lot of classes that you could use them for for other courses uh, anyway like computer vision is in machine learning and in the uh, uh, um, um, computational um, <laughs> percent that's the other reason i don't want to use that for, uh, specialization because it sounds so odd even explaining it right it's like machine learning computing system it's like all the other ones seem very direct even the intelligent uh, uh, um, um, interactive uh, intelligence, it's a little, I mean, why not just call it artificial intelligence, right? But it, it, since it's more geared towards the you know, interaction, you know, user um, computer interaction part. Um, but at least it sounds a little bit more friendly, but computational perception and robotics. I mean, first off, it sounds like a mouthful. And then ultimately remember that at the end of all of this, your degree, first off, it's not even gonna say online. So, you know, who cares if it was online or, or it was on campus. But second, it's not gonna show the uh, specialization either. So that's something that's gonna be on your resume also. So 
a, a lot of people really don't care what specialization they ended um, um, getting, right? So unless you're just very, very committed to a certain specialization from start to finish and you want to take, so I uh, imagine like you're in, in um, the <laughs> computer per se, I really should have written this one because <laughs> it's so odd. Uh, anyway, the robotics one, let, let me just put it that way. Um, if your focus really is in, in robotics, well, yeah, there are going to be certain classes there that aren't going to do um, too much of the overlapping. But at the moment in OMSCS, there's not that many classes that are being offered in, in that department anyway. It's like it's it, it's the AI for robotics at the moment. Uh, currently, now if you go to the, the campus, yeah, there are going to be quite a few other options that you have. So that's why I personally feel it's like, well, uh, unless you're totally committed in another area, or the uh, computing systems. Computing systems, it's there's going to be classes that don't overlap in the other, the other three um, specializations at all. So those are classes that you can still use them as electives, but those are classes that you kind of might, might want to watch out more for, right? Because if you take, you know, the uh, the, the six different uh, um, foundational courses in computing systems, and then you decide, you know, I want to get into uh, machine learning or interactive intelligence. There's a whole bunch of other courses that you're going to have to take now so i mean it's okay if you take one over but what if you you know focus on one specialization took several electives and now decide on a completely different specialization you're gonna have to take a whole bunch more more classes and a lot of these classes it's you know it's, it's gonna it's gonna be a huge time commitment so i would say at least initially go for those five to six um courses without worrying too much about it because you're probably going to already hit one or two um, courses that kind of overlap in different specializations. And once you hit to your five or six um, course uh, number, then make like a, a pretty solid um, decision based on the classes that you have and what you find yourself interested in. Because at the moment, I'm, I'm lucky because it's like I've, I've gotten enough, um, enough classes from all the different uh, um, specializations that I can kind of choose, right? Which uh, specialization I want to head towards since I'm already over the uh, uh, the middle of, of, of the degree. But if that wouldn't have been the case, I again, I, I only recommend that for people doing the computing systems. It's like they kind of have a little bit less of a margin of error. The other three specializations, there's a lot of overlap and the more, since so much of it is connected to AI and machine learning, um, even if you don't directly use that class in, in, uh, as part of your foundation, as part of the, the uh, specialization, it's going to be very useful as far as the content goes, because so much of the content will overlap, even in other areas that don't really seem like you wouldn't think that they would overlap a lot. But, you know, the database co uh, um, course, which is completely focusing on, uh, on the computing systems um, specialization, there's a lot of overlap there that you could absolutely use in, in machine learning as far as, you know, data frames and what you're going to be doing with pandas. And it's a, it's, it's a type of thinking that definitely helps. And then Kabai, I mean, obviously with AI, it's, there's a lot of concepts there that'll, you know, bleed into um, other areas. So that's why those three, it's like there, there has, um, there, there, there's more of, um, there's more of a looser fit, right? You can take other classes that kind of help out depending on which uh, specialization you, you know, end up with um, towards the middle tour or towards the end of uh, of uh, your degree. Now, if you're one of these people that just wants to, t I've, I've met a couple of the, uh, uh, of older guys that they're just going because they just want to learn. It's just, it sounds really interesting. They're in no rush. You know, a lot of these guys, they already have, you know, they're, they're already making their, uh, their retirement money. They, they, for, for them, it's just something kind of cool to, for them to focus on. Um, so they're literally focusing on one specialization before they graduate, they realize, eh, let me just go to the specialization. So it kind of keeps them in the system. So they'll just kind of keep studying for, for I don't know how long. Uh, there's been a couple guys that, that I've met that they're on like their 15th or 16th course. So if that's your, you know, if that's something you want to do, then you could literally do the, the reverse of, <laughs> of what, what, what's, what's recommended, right? At that point, just make sure you don't hit any of the specializations that, that, you, that you're setting or then switch it before you're, um, they're gonna, you know, expect you to graduate. Cause you can absolutely do that. As long as you're within the six window, you can keep taking extra courses um, and then keep changing your specialization once you get to that point. Or like, okay, you, you, would, you probably would have enough um, to graduate with, with one more course. Um, 
definitely not a route that I, I would want to take, but um, yeah, it's also an option. So there you go. There's a couple of different options that you have. And um, like I always say, it's like, you know, don't rush it. The, um, the program gives you plenty of time to figure out what you want to do. And a lot of times you're going to get into a class thinking you're and then you end the course just not liking it at all. And that's already happened to me in three different courses that, um, that I wasn't expecting. I thought I was gonna get into it and just love the subject and no, it just wasn't my cup of tea. So, which is also a huge benefit of OMS CS, right? Instead of going a whole career path, you can get a really, you know, uh, um, quick um, introduction and figure out, is this really something I wanna pursue or not? So that's, that's something I also, highly recommend for people to do you know take courses in different areas that you think well i might be interested in that but you're not sure like for me software development process i thought i was going to find it really boring to be honest with you and i loved it it's one of the courses that i would really like to uh to be a ta in you know for omses so and then machine learning for trade it's like i knew i was gonna uh, really like it and, and i do so it's like, some of them definitely matched what i was expecting and then uh, still others it's like what I was going to be doing, I didn't realize that the depth of, of the course, like um, like uh, the uh, ed educational um, technology, that one also totally changed my, my perception of what I, I was working on. So th there, there's a lot of surprises you're going to be having as you move forward. So hopefully you're not in that much of a rush and you can figure out what you want to do. So that's what I got for today. Have a great week.